And for our last game of this batch, we have uh, another game from the same round. Um, this is against a uh, uh, Lucian, who ultimately knocked me out of the tournament. I don't think this is my last game, but it is one of the last. And this is the first time that I will be facing Rose this entire tournament. Because mm. everyone else had banned Rose, except for me, and uh, no one had taken me up on Earth. I guess called my bluff as far as not banning them, but I had this anti-meta smash deck that we showed off before thinking, okay, I, I like my chances against a solar hero. I think I can hold my own against this, and my hand is full of answers for pretty much anything. Like that. Like, that is exactly why I put Rolling Stone in here, to kill the turn one Lima Pluridon. And I've got a black hole ready for a solar win, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty good, especially early on. Like, you know, the the rose isn't going to pull so far away from me that I can't catch up. And I decide to be aggressive and see if I can fish out a superpower and drop the cheese cutter. And also because there's not really a lot I can do here. And if my opponent thinks they can get away with playing a solar winds, I have something for that. But they decide to go really heavy into ramp. And so I rolling stone one of the one of the primal sunflowers to let it hit and so it can conjure me a card. I would have, uh, so I agree with everything thus far, except not putting the the cheese cutter on the heights, um, because then that would turn on your alien ooze. Um, when I when I'm trying to like use cheese cutter as like a um, as bait, and I have an alien ooze in my hand, I like to like try to play towards both lines. That's a good point. I forget why I didn't play it like that. Like that is, you know. A very uh, smart plan. I just I, I will often try and if I have an environment in my hand, I will throw a thing onto a land to try and get that environment. It makes more sense if you're up against a, a hero that can play spike weed, but not really so much with Rose. Also, this is a disgusting blowout that just happened. Yeah, that was really unfortunate and being able to but but I got my own disgusting blowout in return. I'm able to kill both of the two health things and give myself two more brains this turn. But yeah, uh, ramping on being able to play a four cost creature on turn three is such a big advantage for solar heroes, even if it is a Snapdragon instead of a Briar Rose or a Wingnut. I mean, Snapdragon's no joke. Snapdragon's exactly what you want to counter the thing that you were trying to do there. Yeah. And there's the Briar Rose. And uh, I'm feeling real uncomfortable right now because I don't have enough brains to play Alien Ooze, and I'm not going to pave over my own environment to play Black Hole on that. Yeah, that wouldn't even help. But I do have some options here, and I picked up a weed spray, which is good in case they play like a twin sunflower, and oh, there they go. There's that solar winds I've been waiting for. Now I have the black hole, and I have the choice of whether I want to use the alien ooze or the weed spray, and I decide to use neither, trying to get more value out of the weed spray next turn. I agree with that play. I don't remember why I played that. Maybe in case I get a Galvanize and I'm able to buff something right away. That's reasonable. But that Wingnut is uh, pretty intimidating. Um, I guess I'm... I don't know. I, don't, I hope I don't play the healing thing right away because I, I like holding on to your superpowers as long as you can. So I decided to alien use that to just further drive up the value of the weed spray I'm holding. I don't get a block meter proc because of the gladiator, so that's a little uh, short-sighted on my part. So it looks like your opponent is trying to play around weed spray here. Um, you're definitely like... Ooh. Very loudly, not doing something, um, and and that sounds like weed spray to me. Yeah, and there I got punished for it because they got rid of my black hole with another solar winds. And now I'm thinking about whether I want to burn the weed spray on just the wing nut, I suppose. But I don't... 
That yeah. seems not necessary. Yeah, I hope I don't. Okay, good. I decided not to do that because next turn I can, uh, I can play the sneezing zombie to get the Briaras back to two health again, or two attack. And I'm able to kill that sunflower to keep a cop can cannon from evolving. That's a very good point. But yeah, I've had an answer for pretty much everything my opponents played at this point. Like, it's been pretty back and forth parody, but I haven't drawn any of my late game stuff yet, and that has me kind of worried. Like, I don't have any creatures that are big to play at all. I think every creature I've played has been a one cost or a sneezing zombie. Like, no, uh, no defensive ends or guard throwing guards yet. And there's an Astrocado, which I really did not expect to see. Yeah. You can probably ignore it. Alright, so this is definitely weed spray time now. Absolutely. And I think I also do an extinction event on the, uh, Astrocado just to mitigate potential damage from that? No, I don't, because I don't have enough brains for it. But I do heal myself now, because at this point, there's not as much value to holding my superpower, since we're both down to one card in our hand. Yeah. That's a good rip. Damn, you are just not drawing dudes. Yeah, this is what I hate about ramp and control decks, in that, you know, half of your deck is stuff to get you to the late game, and half of it is stuff to win you once you're there. And if you don't draw, you know cards from both pools at a good rate then you're spinning your wheels oh extinction event value nice <laughs> it really kind of bothers me how long that uh, animation takes tbh sure I almost never play that card I, so I, I forgot I, I ended up Teching that in, replacing a couple of the the squirrel herders because I hadn't seen many berry decks this far in the tournament, and That's I wanted, reasonable. wanted more uh, more things that'll bring stuff under to attack. And look, an another answer, but uh, uh, and now I'm worried about the uh, the Astrocado seed that they have because yeah yeah if they play it in the black hole that's good for me but they probably have another thing they could play in there first like another another primal sunflower so now i'm uh sweating a little bit about what to do here because i'm i'm real worried about that astrocado turning into a into a full-sized one again i guess that's the move. i think i would have used the other thing um you're late enough in the game that saving the mana doesn't really matter um and i think alien ooze is going to hit more shit i think i was holding on to the smash super for another briar rose because, like, that's, in a matchup against fair. a solar hero, I am very committed to making sure that that kills a Briar Rose. And But that was not in a world where I thought of, like, Astrocado being the killer. And, oh, hey, there's a great zucchini for Tempo. Ouchies. I, yeah, and a uh, fun fact about this deck, I have no way to deal with that. <laughs> like, all of my removal is stuff that's based on being on heights or in environments or having a smaller amount of attack so like the best thing I can do is shrink it a little bit to mitigate the damage like I think I would need another sneezing zombie to bring it down to a 4-4 and then using the super on it to not get killed by it horribly so you're just like rip guard going guard or bust at this point pretty much yeah and let's go with bust Draw, draw, draw me, uh, draw me something good. I don't know what it would be, but uh, that's not it. I think that kills one thing. Yeah. Yeah, and now I have to because I'm going to die if I let all of this stuff stay alive. And now I'm thinking about like yeah. how to fuss with the block meter in a way that maybe the five five will trigger it, but uh. Oh yeah, and there it procs the Lima Flirt on by Dino Roar again. Cool. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, and then I decide to kill the Lima I guess maybe I should have kept the Lima Flirt on alive, hoping that I get high block meter rolls that would have blocked the five damage. But okay, yeah, now I'm just dead. So it doesn't yeah. matter. But yeah, I didn't draw a single zombie that cost more than four. 
and that was my undoing because this was a this is a very you know Rose is a very good hero and this is a very good Rose deck and I played it to a stalemate for the first thirteen turns. <laughs> and, uh... Okay, so so what are the lessons we learned here? That so uh, I think big lesson is um, you got owned by that Snapdragon because of your dude placement, um, and that probably wasn't something you were thinking about at that time. Is that fair to say? Yeah, I was not thinking about Snapdragon in this sort of deck. I was focused more on, on Briar Rose and, and Wingnut. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I do stay alive with the uh, Gladiator taking the five damage, but uh, at, the, at this point, I think some of the lesson might be put a Just few put more, more big in things deck. in your deck. Yeah, Yeah. I mean, hey, uh, some it's it's that could be a hard problem to detect. Oh, look, a 14 mana Brainana. That seems good. Yeah, this is fine. I'm I'm so very yeah. Young. I mean, deck construction like you're gonna have some of this no matter what's in your deck, but that was that was just unnecessary. <laughs>